hi viewers this video to explain base concept learning example so the given data set is having the uh, variable temperature which is having the two different values one is hot and another one is the cold and from the for this data we have four hypotheses first zero to hypothesis is having for hot zero uh, no and for call, uh, cold the value is no and the probability of data given hypothesis the, this hypothesis given data this is giving the zero zero means inconsistent and hypothesis one again for the hot value no cold is yes uh, the probability of d given h uh, that is the data given h hypothesis 1 is 0 it is mean it is the meaning of inconsistent hypothesis 2 given hot is yes cold is no which is d given h is 1 1 means consistent like that hypothesis 3 hot yes cold also no yes then here we are giving the uh, probability of d given h is 0 so it is meaning of inconsistent so totally we are having the four hypothesis for the given or uh, uh, feature temperature which is having the values hot and cold so here uh, that's uh, that is given here probable target this is the probability of d given h is the target so here uh, among the four hypothesis hypothesis uh, one uh, two is the consistent because its value is one so it is called consistent the remaining all are inconsistent hypothesis because its uh, value is zero now we are going to calculate probability of h zero given the data set d given the data set d so this is the given data set right for that we are applying the base theorem with respect to hypothesis zero for so the formula is the maximum likelihood the probability of data given h0 multiply with prior probability probability of h0 and divided by probability of data so here the uh, probability of d given h0 this is the probability of d given h0 so this is 0 then multiply with probability of h0 is 1 divided by 4 the, here among the four hypotheses we are considering h0 so uh, that is the 1 divided by 4 then probability of data here from the, in this data we are having only one consistent value among the four among the four so that's why 1 divided by 4 right then we are uh, when you are applying the calculation you will get the zero so probability of h0 given data is zero then probability of h1 given data so again you are substituting the values probability of data given h1 is zero and the probability of h1 uh, among the four hypotheses we are considering only one h1 then probability of d the only one data is consistent remaining all uh, out of four so then we are getting the zero when you are calculating probability of h2 uh, given data so here the probability of d given h2 is 1 and prior probability uh, this is 1 among the 4 probability of h2 is one of the hypothesis among 4 hypothesis that is the 1 divided by 4 then probability of d here we are taking uh, only one con the data value is consistent out of the 4 then when you are applying the calculation you will get 1 so probability of h3 given data here also when you are substituting the values 0 from the probability of d given h3 and one uh, hypothesis considered out of the 4 that one hypothesis is hypothesis 3 then data one data is consistent with respect to uh, 4 hypothesis then you are applying you will get the 0 so this is the way to uh, calculate the probability of hypothesis given data using base rule uh, up, uh, based upon the concept learning now 
brute force map learning algorithm uh, how to calculate the probability of h given d using the hype, uh, version space right so apply the base rule to compute the posterior probability for each hypothesis so what we have seen in the previous slide uh, that is given explained here probability of hypothesis given data is calculated from probability of d given h and prior probability h uh, the probability of d so the probability of d is version space version space in the sense here you see uh, we we are having we are having four hypotheses four hypotheses among the four hypotheses only one is having the value one so if the value one that is called consistent remaining all are inconsistent so our hypothesis space is having four hypotheses hypothesis one hypothesis two hypothesis zero hypothesis three so four hypotheses among these four hypotheses only one is consistent that is hypothesis two only one is uh, consistent that is hypothesis two so this is called version space only version space having uh, consistent hypothesis version space is having uh, only the consistent hypothesis but hypothesis space is having all hypothesis together so that is the thing so here the version space probability of data is calculated by using the version space the version space is having now only hypothesis uh, two okay so only hypothesis two is version space and uh, so among the out of four hypotheses h0 h1 h2 h3 okay so that's why you are getting the one divided by four this is hypothesis space this is version space okay so that's what given number of hypothesis available in the version space number of hypothesis available in the hypothesis space so that's what given here so h is consistent while the training data d then uh, it will be zero right we have calculated in the previous example and h is consistent right so then we can give uh, this uh, one divided by version space one divided by version space okay that is the thing so uh, the here one divided by version space is one so we are getting the value one so posterior probability we can say probability of h given d equal to one divided by version space of hypothesis given data if h is consistent with given data set d otherwise it will be zero that means inconsistent okay that's what the brute force map learning algorithm calculation and uh, next one example here this data set is having uh, three features x0 x1 x2 and we are having uh, 256 hypothesis 256 hypothesis from f0 to f2 to 255 f255 okay so from this uh, data set we are calculating the 256 hypothesis consider here the first row 0 is one feature uh, another 0 x1 feature x2 is third feature so from the three features uh, assume f0 is the hypothesis 0 so for the given data uh, for the given data sample right we are getting the hypothesis is 0 and second one uh, second row 0 0 1 okay so feature 0 0 1 for this three feature values data sample 2 this is the data sample 2 for that uh, we are getting the f0 hypothesis value is 0 that is given here so here you assume f0 f4 are consistent with respect to d with respect to d d means data right so likewise we are assuming 64 consistent hypothesis what is the meaning of this one so here we are having the hypothesis space hypothesis space in this hypothesis space we are having 
255 among this we are getting version space in that version space we are having only 64 hypothesis that hypothesis we are assuming in these two lines from these two lines we are assuming f0 f1 f2 f3 f4 etc these are all assumed as consistent hypothesis so consistent hypothesis only will be available inside the uh, inside the version space consistent hypothesis so when we are calculating the posterior probability for each hypothesis probability of hypothesis 0 given data calculated by using probability of d given f0 prior probability probability of f of f0 then probability of data so when you are substituting the values here f0 is assumed as consistent here f0 is assumed as consistent so the value is 1 then 1 divided by uh, number of hypothesis available in the hypothesis space that is 256 okay number of hypothesis available in the hypothesis space 256 okay that's what we have already seen hypothesis space is having f1 to f2 5 uh, version space is having uh, f1 uh, f2 etc only 64 only 64 hypothesis in the version space okay so that's what we have already assumed now uh, so when the version space is the 64 and the total number of hypothesis is 256 when you are substituting the value you are getting the 1 divided by 64 like that for hypothesis f1 so f1 uh, here uh, we are taking sorry this is actually inconsistent and this is inconsistent okay this is inconsistent so here f1 will not come only f0 f4 only f0 f4 sorry f0 f4 so here probability of f1 given uh, data is calculated by using probability of d given f1 this is inconsistent so which is called zero probability of f1 so here we are taking one hypothesis among the 256 one hypothesis among the 256 then probability of d 64 hypothesis are consistent out of 256 then you are getting the zero so this is the way to calculate the uh, posterior probability for each hypothesis given data samples then uh, here how the hypothesis is changing with consistent learners the learner is called consistent if it output hypothesis is commits zero error while training examples that means suppose if our table table label is having data right here we are having the features x1 x2 here label here we are having the label here we are having 0 0 here the label is having 1 so now this is the actual output this is the actual output label actual output label when we are applying the model any learner okay when we are applying the model or learner it is calculating the uh, predicting the value from given features 0 and 0 from the given features it will calculate the output the predicted output okay it will calculate the output predicted uh, it will calculate the predicted output if it is 1 you see the predicted output also 1 given actual output is also 1 if both are equal then that is called consistent learner for this data for this data the learner is consistent but if predicted output is 0 if predicted output is 0 okay if predicted output is 0 now the actual output is actual output is not match with the predicted output predicted output so actual output is 1 predicted output is 0 if it is the case it, it the both are not matching then that learner is called inconsistent learner for the given data sample that is the meaning here so we have to assume uniform prior probability distribution over all the hypothesis 
in the hypothesis phase and we have to assume deterministic and noise free training data to the, to finding the consistent and inconsistent hypothesis for given data samples so this diagram is uh, indicating the uniform prior probability to each hypothesis for all the hypothesis we are maintaining the uniform prior probability and the second figure is indicating when the training samples are increasing uh, uh, increasing then uh, which is uh, giving you the better hypothesis consistent or inconsistent with respect to given uh, data set one with given data set one the, this one is we are taking two data sets two data samples two data samples for calculating the hypothesis so at that time which is giving the consistent and inconsistent hypothesis right so when you are using that the inconsistent hypothesis becomes zero right that is the thing it is displayed here so here i have given uh, one example uh, the two categories binary valued attribute so given example is having the data set temperature uh, variable and enjoying the game so among this uh, uh, 5s probability 5s prior probability right probability of s is 5 out of uh, how many 9 out of 9 probability of no uh, 4 out of 9 right so that's what given here probability of s for 5 out of 9 probability of no uh, 1 2 3 4 4 out of 9 probability of heart given yes so heart given yes 4 heart in that 4 heart 3 hearts are ha having the yes so heart given yes is 3 out of uh, 5 3 out of uh, 5 yes okay so no is 4 available so among the 4 uh, 3 colds are giving no okay 3 colds are giving no so that is given here then we are calculating the probability of heart probability of heart so probability of heart given yes multiplied with probability of yes probability of heart given no so this is total probability we are calculating substituting the values we are getting this one so then applying the bayesian theorem probability of yes given heart the probability of heart given yes multiplied with prior probability of yes then marginal probability of heart marginal probability heart so when you are substituting the values you will get the 0 0.75 so this is the way to calculate the binary value attribute. Thanks for watching.